So now, we do the same thing like we did before. And just kind of just mess with these a little bit. Okay, so actually, I like this one better first. So I'm going to highlight both of those, slide them back over, and go here. Okay, so now we got that, right? But now, these these were two loops and they weren't together, so what we got to do, if you want to put them together, you highlight them, and go to File. File, uh, not, I'm sorry, not File, but um, Edit. Edit, go down, and you click Bounce to Clips. And what that does is combine the two clips, right? So we press Bounce to Clip, and bam, now it bounces them together, okay? And now, if you want to loop it, Highlight it again, press Control L, and it'll loop it. Now you got that loop. So then we play back. Okay, so now we got an inspiration sound. Now I now we have an inspirational sound that we like, that we want to work from, right? All right, so now, now that you have it looped, when you press Control L, you can just drag it over, okay? And we, usually I like to work with um, not, I like to work with eight bars instead of nine in R&B. That's what I like to work with. So R&B or pop, I like to work with eight bars at a time. So now we're going to work on the gist of our beat, and we're going to try to build from there. All right. Now, as I was saying, Sonar makes um, Sonar makes the track as you add on MIDI track, as you add MIDI instruments and 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 loops and sounds to your things to the to the song. Sonar will add the tracks for you, so you don't have to create a new track. You know what I mean? You can, if you want to create a new audio track, you just right click in the track view right here and it'll say insert audio track, insert media track, MIDI track, insert multiple tracks. But you don't need to do that until you're getting ready to record your song. Right now we're just making the, we're making the beat for it, okay? Now, the next part is, you know, if there's different school of thoughts, schools of thought, if you want to do drums or if you want to do um, um, instruments, that's totally up to you. Right now I'm going to start with drums because I want to hear what it would sound like with drums. So now I'm gonna. Add, you can add another loop, which I'm not gonna do, because you already know how to do loops. Now we're just gonna add um, virtual synths, virtual synthesizers, or synths. And all you gotta do for that is just pull up the synth rack in Sonar, which you can do with Alternate Eight. Or there's also a button right here, and it says synth rack that you can push right there. But I like to do a little faster. I just go Alternate Eight, and it pulls it up right here and it's floating. And there's also a way that you can tab it, but that's kind of, you know, I mean, either way, sometimes it'll come up in the tab, it'll come up down here in this area, and then other times it'll be floating, just depends on how it feels, I don't know. But I like to have it floating because I like to have it here in my grass, so I kind of move it anywhere, and I short, I you can lengthen it out, or, you know, you short, I like to keep it short, I like to keep it right there in front of me. You can press that plus sign, or you can press A. What I usually do, is I like to make it quick for myself because I know what I'm going. So I press alternate 8 and it comes up. Then I press A for add and it comes up to soft synth. Then I use my then I use my arrow and it's on soft synth. I go arrow right and it shows me a list of um, synthesizers that I can use. And right now we want drums, so I'm going to go down to velocity. But you see all the synthesizers that come with Dimension Pro with the uh, Sonar. It comes Kickwalk TC TTS, it comes with Cyclone, Dimension Pro. Um, or Dimension LE or Rapture LE. At this point, if you have um, Sonar uh, Producer, it comes with Dimension Pro and Rapture LE. I just happen to have I happen to have the full version of all of them because that's what I wanted. Okay, so right now I'm going to go to Velocity, which comes with Sonar. Bam, and I press Enter. And this comes up. There's a couple little questions here that you can have. It says create these tracks and you can you can put a simple in, simple instrument track instrument track which I don't like to do that I like to have the two I like to have the MIDI track and the audio track so it says MIDI source and makes a track for my MIDI source and it makes a track for my audio output and it also says synthesizer property page which is what you need that means that it, the synthesizer is in, up front so you can look at it so all those are checked off for me and it says ask this every time I want it to ask me every time and then I just press enter. I don't have to. I can click OK. I can press enter. But I just press enter, and and it goes like that. Okay. So now you got uh, velocity. 
Now, this is the only time I'm going to go outside of, um, um, of sonar because I like to use my own drums, and these are drums that I got off eBay and, and Modern Beats and stuff like that. These are the little these are the little drum pads that you have here. They all say C4 on them right at the top here. So what that means is that anytime you press C4, those sounds are going to play. All you got to do, which is really cool, is click one of the pads, and a window will open it up, and it will allow you to audition sounds. Now, if you want to use, if you don't have your own sounds, you can easily use the sounds that come with um, Sonar. All you got to do is go to Program Files, and then all you got to do is take the arrow button all the way up to your to you get to your um, main hard disk and you go to that main hard disk and then you go to program files which means then you go to cakewalk and sonar um, let me see uh, I'm sorry uh, actually you go to let's see there's actually drums all over the place here and it doesn't have plugins not it. Uh, Dimension Pro. Ah, and then multi samples. So if you want to get drums from Dimension Pro, you just go to Dimension Pro multi samples, and you look up drums. And right here, you can go to drums, and then it's got all kinds of you know acoustic drums, kicks. You can go to kicks, and it'll you know you can just get all that stuff you know. Pro Kicks. There's a lot of them. What's cool about Velocity is you can, you know, you can audition all the sounds and stuff. Um, so that was Dimension Pro. Let's. I'm going back up and I'm going to uh, uh, Rapture. You, if you have Rapture LE, you can. Multi Samples, uh, Pro Sound, Rapture Drums. Not, it's not bad sounding, it's just that if I'm making a song, I want the, my drums to be punchy, so I got my drums from um, um, from eBay and, and, and Modern Beats and Hip Hop Drums, and that's where I get them from. So I'm going to go to my hard, my hard drive where I have my sample library, and then I'm going to go to my favorite one, which is my industry sounds, and then I just go to my normal, you know what I mean, I'm just going to keep it simple, but I got stuff from Modern Beats, I got just stuff all over the place but right now I'm gonna keep it simple go to my industry collection I'm gonna go to drums and um, and actually I'm gonna look for a snare first so I'm gonna go to my industry collection BAM drums snare drum and uh, let's keep it simple let's keep it simple let's go to synthetic Then you can use the arrow to to uh, audition the different sounds, and we're just gonna we're just gonna find one that we like. Bam! So we picked that one. Now, if you press C4, which is the C button in its middle C, um, uh, it will play that sound for you. C4 will play that sound for you. If you want to change the key that it plays, which I like to use the black keys for drums, I just just take your mouse and just move it up just one skosh and it'll go to C sharp four. 